Also, bond yields on the rise for months now. Let's talk with Doug Rothschild. He's with Performance Trust. So what's happening with Treasuries? Uh, notes doesn't seem to, I mean, bonds, everything seems to be changing right now as prices fall. Yeah, Bill, it's an interesting time in the market. One, it's a quiet week and a quiet part of the summer as people wind out their summer vacations. And so there's not a lot of action going on. But one thing we are, two things we're noting is one, that yield, the yield curve is historically about as steep as it ever gets. If you look back, you know, almost 30 years, there's only a couple times in history that you've seen the difference or the steepness of the yield curve you see now, particularly between the twos and the tens. Uh, so what is that really telling you? The market's really watching, particularly this week, the Wednesday will be the release of the Federal Reserve's minutes from its last meeting to see if there's any signs of language that the tapering program will begin. You think the tapering will probably come a little sooner, maybe this fall. Tell us why. Yeah, you know, I think the likelihood of a taper is much stronger than it was even just a few weeks ago, and there's two reasons. One, the numbers are actually a little bit better. While top-line growth coming from the most recent earnings reports from stocks are, are, are not that great, not very compelling, uh, you do see... Uh, the unemployment number, the housing is also obviously better, but the unemployment reports are getting better. Weekly jobless claims have had successive weeks of improvement, and the last couple of unemployment reports are getting stronger. So they're starting to see inklings that the economy might be a little better. That's one. The second is a story or kind of a, a rumor that I'm starting to hear circulate that Bernanke is really looking out for his own legacy. And what I mean by that is if Bernanke tapers before he leaves office early next year, and in other words, taking the training wheels off of the economy and the economy takes off and it works, he'll be known as the guy who started QE3 and then was able to stop it and started the economy going on the right foot. So I think he's looking a little bit out for his legacy. He may have a bias to start that tapering program a little right. earlier than we think. Still a big dice roll as to how markets react and the overall economy too. All right, Doug Rothschild, thanks so much. Thank you.